Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liliana for those who don't know me but in today's video we're going to be talking about menstrual cups so if you'd like to know more about them, the pros and cons and any additional information just keep on watching. So, the menstrual cup that I'll be talking about today is called the Exo Flow Mini. It has up to 12 hours of protection and is a thoughtfully designed menstrual cup. Now, this isn't a promotion on the cup, but I just this is the one that I bought, so I'm going to be speaking on it. Now, what is the Exo Mini? I'm reading from the box, by the way. The Exo Mini collects your flow instead of absorbing it. Empty and reinsert as often as you change a tampon, or wear up to 12 hours at a time. With proper care, your Exo Flow Mini will last for years. So on the box, you have some other information that's not necessarily relevant to this video. And... It says that it was made with flexible medical grade silicone so that's one thing to note almost all all if not almost all of the menstrual cups are made with silicone and that's just silicone is safe for the body to be inserted in the body as well as it's very flexible and then it says it pairs perfectly with your favorite glad rags cloth pads glad rags is a brand by the way it's a brand that makes these and there is a cotton storage bag and detailed uses usage instructions included in this so it basically has an instructional pamphlet it has the direction for use insertion how you should remove it and some tips as well as which size is right for you, cleaning and storage, warnings and precautions, toxic shock syndrome, and the information on the product that the, if it's FDA registered, which it is, and the, what do we call it, the item number, on how you can search for the product. Okay, so which size is right for you? Now, I got the Expo Mini, which is for women with light to average flow and our teens, or they use regular to light tampons, have a low cervix or have not given birth. No, I don't have any children. <laughs> so this is right for me and it's smaller than the regular Expo. Now the Expo is preferred by those who have an average to heavy flow prefer regular to super tampons, have a high cervix, or have given birth before. Yes, so of course that one would be best for me. But what I realized by doing research is that some companies tend to have different sizes. The smaller sizes tend to be for teenagers, persons with the light or average flu and who have not had children. While the bigger sizes are for persons who are over a certain age, have had children, or have a heavier flow. Now this is the bag that it came in and this is what mine looks like currently. I've used it for two cycles technically one day and a full cycle so it's not spanking brand new. Now why did I choose this brand? I chose this brand because it was only one of two available and based on the sizing this would seem like the right size for me. I got it from Earth Elements by the way and I spent a little bit under $5,000. Now you can get them for, you can get variations on Amazon but I just, on that day I was adamant. Actually my friend had encouraged me to try the men's shop up and I was like, I really need a car, I don't like pads tampons and yeah. 
So if I can get one product that works, I'm going to try it. Like I'd like trying new things. So I went there and I think I had like it was the second to last day or the last day of my cycle. No, it was the second to last day I believe. And I went there and I was just like, do you guys have my shop cups? And they showed me the options that they had and the customer care or one of the workers was sharing with me her opinions on them so I was like, alright, let me get this one. Alright, so moving on to the pros and cons. Now the pros is that there is no odor or scent. You know that the blood can have a scent when it hits the air, when it's oxidized. I think that's the correct term. I could be wrong. So because the cup catches the blood, there's no time for any type of scent or odor to happen. So yes, that's a pro. And if you have some if you're somebody and you realize that you kinda have a scent on your or an odor, a distinct odor during your cycle, this would be a good option for you. It is cost effective. Now the one time payment of almost five grand is a lot or might seem like a lot, but then you won't be you won't be purchasing sanitary products for a while. Now I would advise anybody to get two or three. I plan on purchasing another set or two more just because it's easier. I'm going to speak about that further on. But you spend like five grand or almost five grand one time and then for a couple of months or years you don't have to purchase pads. I but if you're a person like me who wear a certain brand and it's kinda costly and you know you have to get spend like a thousand dollars two thousand dollars every month you know that's 12 grand for the year in comparison to a one-time purchase of less than five grand yes uh the next point i have on the pros is that it's not as uncomfortable as pads now if you wear pads you know that the rubbing and being conscious about it is I don't know like the entire time you're on this like like oh my god why is this like this can people see it da, 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 da. stuff like that the next pro is that it can be worn the entire day now it says up to 12 hours so imagine you wake up in the morning you shower you insert it and from you wake up till when you get back home if you work or if you go to school or if you're just doing anything about with your life when you get back home say you shower after six and you get back home after six that's 12 hours like if you get the right size you shouldn't have to worry about spilling and stuff like that so you just remove it rinse it out in again entire night you wake up in the morning you remove it you rinse it out you, you insert it again and it basically goes like that oh and another pro which i kind of touched on earlier is that you don't have to worry about persons knowing that you're on your period. Yes, like you don't have that, oh my god, I'm on my period feeling unless you have pain. Okay, so moving on to the cons. There is discomfort while inserting and removing. Yes, you guys, I know that's a lot of persons concern, but there's no getting around it. Like you guys saw the size of it and you know the size of where it's going but if babies can come from it then this definitely can fit in there what i would say though is that you have to be aware of your own body so you have to know how to angle it to get it in and there are different techniques that you can use to insert it right so when you're removing, you just have to know, say, no, sorry, when you're inserting, just for makeup in mind, so that's what you're going to be doing. And when you're removing, it's the same thing. The next con is that it can spill. Now, they recommend that you remove it in the shower, but for persons who might not want to do that, you have to be very careful. The next con is that the clear cups can stain. So some persons prefer clear and some persons prefer the color for whatever reason. Yes, I was interrupted by the wind. 
Some people prefer the clear cups because they want to be able to see it. Some people prefer the colored cups because they don't want to see it. So yes, the cups can get stained. It's not that necessary. It's not necessary that you aren't cleaning it properly, but you know, things get stained over time. And with this particular design, the balls can be ripped off because there are three balls at the end. Some persons cut them to their own comfort, but if you tug on it, it's gonna break off, and then you don't want it to be stuck inside of you and have to go to the hospital. All right, so our con for the EXO flow is that it doesn't have markers for the measurements. For some of them, it will list, um, what do you call it now? If it's 50 milligrams, 40 milligrams, so on and so forth. So there's no way for me to be able to calculate how much liquid or how, how much my flow is. Okay, so additional information. How do you clean it? Now, they say that you clean it. You clean it by boiling it at the beginning of clean or sterilize at the beginning of your cycle, as well as at the end. You can do it in the middle if you want. Uh, but when you, how you clean it, after each use is that you use gentle soap, rinse it out, wash it with the soap, ensure that all the soap is off and then reinsert it. Now if you don't wear tampons, a menstrual cup is going to be a huge step. As you can see, it's, it's big in comparison to the size of a tampon. So I would advise anybody who has never used a menstrual cup, I mean, who has never used a tampon to go right into using a menstrual cup. Like you have to warm yourself up to it. Next, you have to be extremely extremely relaxed when inserting and removing now if you're tense up all right let's demonstrate this is my hand right if you're tense say for example this is the menstrual cup two fingers three fingers if you're tense there's no type of inserting it's not going to go anywhere right so you have to be extremely relaxed for when you're doing it and be patient. Be patient. Don't try to shove it in I, or be forceful and think that it's gonna work or that it's going to feel okay. It's not. You just have to breathe, deep breath in, deep breath out, and prepare yourself for the process. Now, the third additional information I need to say is to is how to remove it or how to insert it. Now how I insert it is by going in a sumo wrestler squat. <laughs> like you have some different that are pictures on how you can insert it and I'm that that don't work for me. <laughs> it doesn't have to go in a squat like a sumo wrestler. And you know the my deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And just you know Hold it like how I feel comfortable with it and find the angle and insert it. Now, when they're inserting, some people say that you need to hear a pop because you insert it folded, but then when it's inside, it's supposed to open up or hold it where it works, right? Now, some people insert it and then they try to twist it. I can't do that. <laughs> so I just insert it and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so for the removal aspect, you have to push like you would push out a baby or if you're, you know, pooping. So you have to push. Like, Cause remember that your muscles are clenching to it. So if you're not relaxed and pushing it out, it's not going to go anywhere. You're going to be tugging and you're going to be having a fight. So you push and then you hold, for this particular design, you'd hold the, ball, the balls and then tug on it. So, for example, the first ball, you push and you pull. Then you get to the second ball and you push and you pull. Then you get the third one and you push and you pull. And then you, when you reach the base, you have to kind of pinch the base or ensure that your grip is good because if it isn't, it's going to pop out and it's going to spill everywhere. So, what I do is I 
kind of hold the base and then I place my other hand, my other hand there to kind of guard it and then I ensure I have a tight grip and then pull out. It's gonna pop out or it pops out for me. So I have to ensure that my hand is there to hold on to it. All right. So the next thing is to wear panty liners for added security. Now when I wear tampons, I wear panty liners because while it's absorbing some of the blood, if you use the tampon after your period starts, you know that there's some, some blood that's gonna be further down than the tampon so that's what I do now you can know how full the cup is by if you have some blood on the panty liners or on the panty liner rather and then you know you're not worried when about spillage and stuff like that if you have the panty liner because then you can visually see what's happening or have an idea and lastly, I suggest wearing a pad on the last day because inserting and removing becomes more uncomfortable as the cycle lightens and lubrication is less. So yeah, that's basically it. Wear a pad, don't try to force it because then you're going to get frustrated. Yeah. So I would say wear a pad on the last day. And if you're a person who might spot on the day afterwards, just wear a panty liner. There's no need to force it inside because remember that the blood can act as lubrication to get it in. So when there's no blood like that, you're going to cause trauma. Yeah. So I think that's it. Guys, as in men, you can gift your special female friend a menstrual cup especially if you know that she struggles around her period and girls I really encourage you to get one just go on Amazon or any other website to see which ones you prefer oh and there's a there's a website that asks you certain questions and then based on those questions I have recommendations for which brand you should try so I'm going to have that link in the description. I did that and it said that I should use a particular brand but I couldn't find the brand locally so I was just like, you know what, let me just use anyone that I find in the store. I don't know if any other store apart from Earth Elements sells it. I went on the Fontana pharmacy website and I didn't see it. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to stick to the evil I know and go to Earth Elements. I think that's it if you have any other questions just comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and share it with all your friends and your family and people who might benefit from this information oh and speaking on pain if it's painful to insert like because you know when you're cramping how you might feel you just have to ignore it or you take a painkiller. There's a particular painkiller that I take and it's a rectal painkiller. It's called Decodink. Hold on, let me just verify that on Google. It's called Decodink. D-I-C-L-O dash D-E-N-K. It's inexpensive, but you have to get a pharmacist to write the prescription for you. Not a pharmacist. You need a doctor to write the prescription for you. And with with health insurance, it's less... I don't remember if it's under $500 for the box or under $1,000, but something like that. And the box can last you two cycles because that medication works for 10 hours, I believe. So you insert it and then you just have to lie down for 10 minutes and ensure that it doesn't you know, run out of your body and that it starts to work. Another way that you can get, if you have really, really bad cramps, is to try CBD oil. Now do your own research, but it's really effective. Now you can't really buy it online unless you live in the US or in the country that you've been buying it from. There are various pharmacies that sell it, and I think you can get it from Epican. I saw the people in there. I think that's what they're called. 
but it's a small dosage and it, again you need a prescription for that in Jamaica so if you're traveling overseas and you want to buy it but you have to ensure that it is in the package because I was doing some research and they're saying that the airport what do you call it the people at the airport might want to check it because it's hard to determine or differentiate between CB oil and THC oil so you have to carry it to the package everything so that they can test it and don't hold it and want to deport you or lock you up so yes guys that was some additional tips so like share subscribe comment and turn on the post notifications if you like more content of me trying things comment down below what you think i should try next okay bye